A full-time course load takes up a lot of time for college students, but student athletes have to fit in time for practice and competition. This often can lead to missed classes. The Athletic Absence Reporting Project, part of Kent State's computer-assisted reporting class, set out to find if universities track classes and study days missed by student athletes. Seventeen different colleges, including all of the Mid-American Conference schools, were the sample. The main question that was sent to the provost and athletic directors were asking for their most recent analysis of classes missed due to athletic competition. Not one university in the sample had an analysis on class absence due to competition, practice, or injury, but five schools at least keeps track of some data. Kent State does not keep track at all. We took our cameras up to the executive offices to interview Provost Dr. Todd Dykin. What about specifically for your student athletes, how important is academics? Well, student athletes are students. The NCAA says that academic success for student athletes is a core priority for itself and its member schools. Wouldn't that mean that it's important that they attend class? In my experience as a professor, student success is uh, tied to a certain extent to attending class. Kent State University does not track classes missed, so the pressing question needed to be asked, why not? Why aren't you tracking the number of classes missed by student athletes for competition, for practice, and for injuries? I isn't that important? The provost office doesn't get into the details of exactly which student athlete is attending class on which day. <laughs> We're always looking to improve the, the uh, per academic performance of all students. You can graduate from Kent State with a 2.0 GPA. And Do you find that satisfactory? Uh, I think that every student is different. When playing college one division sports, there is an inherent risk for injury, especially with all the big hits seen during a football game. One of the common injuries is a concussion. What are universities doing to track how concussions affect academic performance? Not much. Out of the 17 schools the Athletic Absence Reporting Project surveyed, none of them kept track. The CDC defines a concussion as a type of traumatic brain injury caused by a bump, blow, or jolt to the head that can change the way the brain normally works. Minnesota Brain Injury Alliance Executive Director David King spoke about the awareness of concussion symptoms. The best thing that a, a parent, a, a trainer, a coach, uh, um, an athlete can do is to educate themselves about the signs and symptoms and, and seriousness of concussions. We all know that athletes shouldn't get right back in the game after sustaining a head injury, but symptoms need to heal before student athletes return to learn as well. As much as we can, we want to limit that stimulation. Um, the more a person can put themselves in a dark room and have complete rest, the better they are. King stresses that student athletes should wait until concussion effects fade away and then be eased back into the classroom, despite the importance. I don't track in the provost office concussions among student athletes or among students who fall and, and crack their head on the ice. It seems the NCAA's core priority, academics, could still use some work. For TV2 News, I'm Brian Ivey.